Quiet on the set. Can we please have quiet, quiet on, the on the set? set? And this is A and B Combo's Wrestling, Wrestling Edition. Edition. Welcome everyone to the most must-see wrestling review show on YouTube. Welcome to AB Combos Wrestling, wrestling Edition. Edition. Oh man, we are here with our review of the annual Royal Rumble and what a Royal Rumble it is. But before we get started, we want to give a special shout out to the Wrestling Club for hosting it and to DMB, Dave and Busters, for not screwing us again! Yes. And they actually went above and beyond and had it on it all, was all it was almost on every TV, so yeah, I think uh, I think that yeah, they heard about that, and you know that I yelled it, yeah. <laughs> oh. Aside from that, let's get into the show. Man, what did you think? You think you know me on the stage? Oh. <laughs> Clearly, oh. Woo! that was awesome. That was awesome. Even though we heard rumors that Edge was going to be there, like you hear all kinds of rumors, and there was even people who were very much supposed to be in the match that weren't in the match. Otis was on the outside of the match; they were supposed to be in the match. Um, Kane. Kane, like you know, we were expecting Kane. Kane wasn't in the match. Um, Bobby Lashley and Rusev were also supposed to be in the match, and they weren't in the match. So you really didn't know who was going to come out in the match. And then Royal Rumble was always a chance for some old school. But there is <laughs> nothing like hearing, you think you know me, because you, like, haven't heard it in so long. And, like, oh, it was just, oh. Well, hang on awesome. now, because that wasn't the only surprise. We had a one Mr. MVP. I'm coming! Oh man, Wakanda Forever represented. Okay, yes. I that, was a fan. That was cool that he dressed like Black Panther, and but we're not gonna put MVP and Edge in the same category. But it's, it's literally MVP. It's, it's M Montel, Montel. Okay, let's just move on. Let's move on. All right. So I'm gonna tell you, for me, they stepped up their game. Considering what we saw at Worlds Collide, I was going to this with not very high hopes. And uh, somebody said, look, you guys need to go out here and show off. And we, we saw that. I mean, there was quite a few injuries. And that was kind of what we were talking about. So, you know, you had um, AJ Styles, who was definitely injured. Um, I didn't see an update on what the injury was. We were I was trying to figure out if it was his arm or his hand, because he was... He yeah. was holding it. I think there's some preliminary um, results about his shoulder. Oh, it right. was a shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to figure out because I could tell he was favoring his arm. I didn't know if it was, a, a, you know, what part of the arm. Um, but you knew he was injured and he needed to get out of the ring. And so, you know, luckily it wasn't something where he needed to finish the match. He could just get thrown out. Uh, Beth Phoenix was a bleeding all over everybody. She was and bleeding like a stuck pig, folks. It was really distracting. Number one, I know the head bleeds a lot, but is she okay? You know what I mean? Like, like I can't believe that they had her stay in, not only because it was distracting, but because are you really supposed to expose all the other wrestlers to blood like that? I, I felt like they should have took her out sooner. Um, but she had a great showing. Okay. And Great NXT, showing. man, like every time an NXT player got introduced for either the men or women's Royal Rumble, you heard a rumble all right. Huge it was exciting. It was Absolutely. exciting. Um, Keith Lee and Braun were not in the ring with Brock long enough. Like, you know, it, but the, the little time they were all in the ring was awesome. Yeah, but let me go ahead and tell you. Rock shouldn't have been in that ring in the first place. The whole point of the Royal Rumble match is that so that the winner could go on to face whatever champion they wanted to at WrestleMania. I've already said it. You cannot have a Brock divided against himself. He threw out, what was it, 13, 14 other competitors. His spot was taken from somebody. I, I didn't like it. Could he have gone, uh, like, did, did, it, did it have to be on this? Could he have gone against Bray? No, well, see, no, was the point is, belt? yeah, technically you could wrestle another champion and become a double champion like Becky Two Bells, but who wants to see? I mean, come on, man. Yeah, I think that the whole point of that was not only for Brock to show off, but I think that they were allowing him, I think Paul Heyman was allowing him to break Roman's record. 
I didn't like it, but yeah. he did show off. I mean, he devastated everybody that came into that ring. Uh, I expected a little more from some people. My prediction was Kofi Kingston was going to go on to win this whole thing and get redemption at WrestleMania. That did not happen. I didn't think that was going to happen, but I did think that they would leave Kofi in a little bit longer than they did. I think they let him be in longer than the average Joe to redeem himself a little bit. Um, but I also, I didn't think that they were going to have him go the whole way. Um, but, but I hate that it never comes down to Braun and Brock. Like, at the end of the day, we all know that Braun Strowman is the one who is really going to be able to beat Brock Lesnar. And I, they just don't know or understand what they have in Braun Strowman. And they keep bringing him out and, you know, well, we'll have him sing and we'll have him dance. That is not what he is for. He is a big, scary, fast, talented man who deserves to be champion, who needs to be champion, and they don't know what to do with him, and I can't understand why. Yeah, I don't know, but what they seem to know what to do with is Drew McIntyre, because my man is getting a push. And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what was interesting. You have Drew McIntyre, you have Jinder Mahal, if you remember what these guys looked like before, they were thin and basically forgettable. They come back and, you know, got a little come up, a little little, little muscle. And Jinder Mahal becomes the first Indian world champion. And I think we're going to see the same with uh, Drew McIntyre. Yeah, I actually, I do think Drew McIntyre is going to become the champion. And I think it would be really cool if when he became champion, if Jinder Mahal was was healed and recovered. I'm not quite sure where he's at in his recovery, but if he came back and faced Drew and I and you know in in, in good shape and they could have a good go at it, I think they would have a really good rivalry as well. I think so. But I'll tell you what, going back to the women's Royal Rumble match, man, 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 I hate to keep saying that word, but man, your girl. Woo! Bianca. I, I mean, you know, Bianca is just a badass. She's good. Man. She's good, but she yes. is no match for the queen. Woo! Woo! That's not fair to say. Woo! I, I take nothing away from Charlotte. You know that I believe she's the best female wrestler, you know, in the main roster. But Bianca went against how many people and eliminated how many people before that happened so I would really like to see them in a one-on-one -on -one match where they both weren't fighting other people and tired and distracted and really just one-on-one -on -one. that would be a good match she did good she she definitely held her own I really appreciated the fact that Sonya Deville got in there and uh whooped a little tail she looked really really good unfortunately she didn't last quite as long as I had hoped and then the 30th entrant None other than Shayna Baszler. Queen of, Queen of Spades? King of Spades? Shayna Baszler. Okay. I didn't like her showing. I really didn't. She did okay. I expected a lot more, and I still didn't get it. So I don't know what they got to do with this one. Yeah, I guess when you, when you see her come out, you really do expect big things. And like we said before, they dial her back just like they dial Sonya Deville back. I think the opportunity to leave Sonya in the ring long enough for her and Shayna to have a little UFC moment would have been a great, great opportunity that they missed. Well, we didn't see her strike. She just does not strike with the force that I expect an MMA fighter to strike with. Even if, and I realize this is not the octagon, but I mean, yeah, Bo Bianca Belair, you had the, the, the Glamazon. I mean, you have so many women in there just mm, mm, taking it to them. I don't know, I expect it better, but what are you gonna do? One big surprise for me out of the entire Royal Rumble uh, uh, pay-per-view, not a single title changed hands, not one. Yeah. I was really pulling for Daniel Bryan on this. And he held his own, but... Oh. Daniel Bryan is not going to be the one to beat Bray Wyatt. And Bray Wyatt is not going to lose anytime uh, soon. It's, it's the theme. There are two different people. Okay. Daniel Bryan is not going to beat the theme. I think he can. No, he's not. 
No Ooh, one's gonna beat him. No one's beat. gonna beat him. Let me tell you what's gonna happen. The Fiend is gonna be like the longest title holder, and then maybe they'll have him go against um, the Undertaker at some point because they don't know how to let the Undertaker thing go. But I believe that he is going to ultimately lose it when they bring Finn Balor back. I think that Finn Balor at some point is going to come back up as the demon and redeem himself. And he'll be the one to, be, to do it. And I don't think that's anytime soon. You heard it here, folks. Well, my money's on Edge. Let's give him Edge is title. not back. Let's get the man another Edge title. Edge is not back. We will see him at WrestleMania. Edge is not back. He will take on The Fiend. And he'll have one more run. They were scared to come champion. at him knowing that his neck is... Uh, no. He came he back from Royal business. Rumble and he is... He that it, No. I really love the Mandy Rose and Otis thing. I, it is really just cracks me up. And I really... Uh, when he caught her, when she... I mean, that was just awesome. It was, it's very entertaining. I then stood on him to get back into the ring so no feet touched the ground. And I'm going to tell you, their love story is a thousand times more believable than Lana and Lashley's. Hello. A thousand. And they barely had to do anything to make that happen. So, WWE forced organic. And then Naomi does her awesome, uh, you know, holding on to the side of the thing and crawling over like Kofi Kingston has done in the past and then trying to figure out how to get back into the ring, and she was eliminated so quickly after that that it was kind of disappointing. It was disappointing because she took her time getting back into the ring mm -hmm. and just to be tossed out. Uh, that's a real shame, but what are you going to do? I'm glad to see her back, though. But all in all, I'd say it was actually a pretty good rumble. There will be some retribution, I guarantee you that. This is not the last that we heard from Brock or Paul Heyman. You know that they are not happy. Last from Paul Heyman. You never gonna get a last word from Paul Heyman. Man. Thank you guys for watching another A and B combos wrestling, wrestling edition. edition. Uh, we really want to know your opinion. Want to know what you have to think. What was your favorite moment? What was your favorite match? And what would you like to see coming in 2020? Uh, what can they do to improve? Is, who is the most underrated? superstar or just wrestler that's on the roster that you haven't really seen utilized in 2019. Give us your thoughts. Yes, please do let us know your thoughts. Comment below. Make sure that you like and share this. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you down the road. Notification bell too. <laughs>